All right, Cat BF Brett Popeyes. Uh, what is what is about the reputation? I know that their chicken sandwich is supposed to be like banger. It's the best chicken sandwich. It's the best chicken sandwich is what I've heard. Uh, the, the Popeyes employees are feisty. The employees are feisty is what I've heard. No. Yeah, that's... That's what you're telling. I didn't know that part. Well, I mean, I assume that about every fast food chain in America, honestly. Well, I know, but it's a meme. It's a meme. Okay. Pussy yeah, for they, half regular? They really? Might, they might put they might have put all spice in this. Oh, you just think they would do that? I think so. It might be all spicy, but we'll see. Alright, well, I'm ready to try it out. Hold on one second. BRB, I'm just gonna grab a bev. Alright. So I've only had Popeyes once and it was like it was like between cities, like on a highway sort of thing, and it was like kind of shit, and I was like disappointed. So maybe it was like a bad location. Okay. Um, should be good everywhere, but I mean, it was in Washington. Oh, North? Yeah. North. yeah, it was like on the way to Seattle or something. And, uh, you need to start and I think it was like a part of a gas station. So I'd always kind of felt like maybe it was wrong. Here we got some hot sauce and some honey. The meme is that their biscuits are dry? Yeah, so it's, it's hard to eat one without a bev, right? Or just like, you need a bev to get to okay. the top. Hot sauce, honey, they grape sauce jelly? Honey, so either. I didn't even ask for hot sauce. Okay, we got packets of hot sauce. Hmm? They're mean. I mean, it's optional. No, it's Grape jelly, which I've never heard of having with chicken, honestly. It's for the biscuits. Honey. The honey and Did we get biscuits? biscuits? Yeah, we got biscuits. There's some more rocks. So they just give you biscuits no matter what? Not no matter what. Oh, okay. I didn't know if they were like just a part of the side. Oh, my goodness. So the limited experience that I had with Popeye's... At that like kind of gas station-y one. I was confused about the honey to begin with. Because I was like, honey on chicken? What? Um, I don't know how to do this fucking soy face. All right. And. All right, we got four biscuits. Just one second here. It is. Warm still too, thank you. What a nice surprise. So the grape jelly is for the biscuits apparently, which I've Hmm. I don't know if I've had the biscuits. So okay, so the meme is that they're dry. That's not bad. I wouldn't call it particularly dry. It's a little salty, which I mean, I guess everything in America is. Particularly salty. But it tastes like there's something other than just salt there. Like maybe there's like garlic salt. <sighs> I can taste this hot sauce too. Ingredients, peppers, vinegar, and salt. Oh my God, this smells like just Straight up Tabasco sauce. It smells like the most generic hot sauce. It's a very Tabasco aim. But it tastes lighter than just an. If I were to have, like, what is that called? Tia Pilas or something? That, like, 
Tabasco sauce that has the Mexican guy on the bottle. That's a lot spicier than what's in this package. I was just able to like drink some out of the package and it was fine. So I'm told to put honey on the biscuits. Let's try. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, it's not like on the scale of like nutritious and healthy to taste good, but it's so obviously bad for you. There's something that it's not quite satisfying in either direction. Like, it just feels like generally non-nutritious and not healthy and not so delicious that it feels like it justifies it. But um, All right, I guess we got a few different pieces here. We got drumstick action. I'm going to eat drumstick piece without anything else. It is it is better than the gas station one I had. Put some honey on that. There's also definitely not a spicy piece. I don't know if it's like if I'm able to tell which one's a spicy piece or if it's just not that spicy. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on this one actually. All right, hot sauce. Hmm. Okay. I dig I dig it with the hot sauce actually. Cause although it's not like a super spicy um Hot sauce. It complements the chicken not bad. Mm. I'm just wondering how to tell which one of these pieces are spicy. Because I want to try some spicy shit, but there's no... If I get Church's chicken which I like Church's Chicken a lot, by the way. If I get Church's Chicken, I know which ones are spicy because they're darker. The breading looks darker. This one, if half of these pieces are supposed to be spicy, I don't know which ones are. Like it? It's good. I'm... Um, You said half spicy. I ate the drumstick and it definitely wasn't spicy. This one, so there's one more drumstick, so I guess the other drumstick in there is a spicy one. Um, this, I feel, might be a spicy one of these pieces. I don't know what to call this piece. So? Yeah, that seems. I mean, that seems like that would be like this. But, uh, I have no idea. I'm gonna put some grape jelly on this. See how it is. On the chicken. I already tried it on the biscuit. They give me a sauce. I'm gonna try it. You know. Yeah, well, um, some men can dream. There is ranch in there, yes. And blue cheese dip. And a few other things.
Mm. Have you ever had churches? No. I gotta take you to churches then. Mm -hmm. It's in a couple places in Canada. Apparently, it's from Texas, though. I like church's chicken a lot. And also their spicier shit is like way spicier than this. I I feel like the difference between <laughs> the spicy and thank you. The spicy and not spicy. With this chicken, I can barely tell the difference, honestly. Uh churches pack some fucking heat. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do some hot sauce on the biscuit. Yeah, this is a lot better than the other one I had. Yeah, I bet it's from Washington. It was just like, it seemed like it, the business should not be operating sort of thing. Commenter is asking if Bojangles is good. Bojangles is very good. I'll get that for you sometime. Cat BF says Bojangles is very good. It's in North Carolina, that's why. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. We had. At the tailgate, we had some Bojangles. Their breakfast stuff. It was all cold and dry. Yep. That wasn't fresh. Honey and hot sauce. I mean, any one of the three sauces they gave us makes the biscuit taste better. The biscuit definitely needs something, you know, but. Well, this is fresh and. And and the fact that so I, I hadn't had. um red lobster before but we had like i don't know at least six hour maybe eight hour old red lobster biscuits and those did not taste those tasted more moist than these ones fresh did so yeah, dry, yeah. with that i mean yeah dry in comparison they're not like the driest biscuits i've ever had but i wouldn't mind trying some red lobster biscuits fresh for sure Yeah, that'd be cool to order at some point, actually. <clears throat> What's funny, so <clears throat> because I'm the main character on Twitter to some people right now, I've been um, going back to some of my tweets and just like seeing if there's some people to add to my block list. And some of my tweets were like, it was completely unrelated to any Twitter drama where I was just like, I'm happy with my life. There are people that are like, oh yeah, sure. You're like totally happy right now. Thinking that my, my tweet was like a part of their story. 
that me saying positive things about my life was me projecting and being like, oh, I'm trying to convince myself otherwise because I'm actually so sad because people are being mean to me on Twitter. When in reality, I've been like posting that's, you know, positive shit for the past, I don't know, a few months at least. I've just been in a better place in my life. And I just found it very amusing that they feel like they have to be like in charge of of my emotion. They They not only think that their impact on my life is so great that like, I have to lie to myself about my life, but they also think that I'm the person that would do that when if you've seen, I mean, like if you've seen anything about me or my channel, like I can admit when I'm like not happy, yeah. you know, like I like a year ago with that drama of um, why I doesn't finish movies. Like I didn't hide how I felt about that. Like I'm, I made it clear that I was like upset. I don't feel any like reward or, I'm just like not that type of person that needs to pretend I'm happy when I'm not. I feel better letting people know that I'm not happy if I'm not happy. So it's funny that they think that I would do that. And what that reveals about them is that they're the type of person to do that, which is very interesting to me. Because if you assume, if you assume that if your base assumption about someone else is that they put on a front to other people to pretend to be happy, that means that that's what they do. If they think that's how everybody works, that means that that's just how they work, right? Which is very interesting to me. Some people assume that everybody acts the same way as them just because they don't understand that other brains exist, you know? They're like, what? Everybody's a lying asshole. Like, no, I'm sorry. That's just <laughs> that's just how you operate, and you're kind of exposing that about yourself. Yeah, I've been in a great place the past few months, especially. Good. Thank you. Oh. I love you very much. We're not kissing each other while we're like having fried chicken grease in our face. <laughs> mm. All right, putting a bunch of honey and hot sauce on this last one. Oh my god! Ah, almost spilled it. It's a little messy, but I'm glad we got these little side plates here. Honey and hot sauce, and dare I say, a little bit of grape jelly. Just because this thing's already opened and I'm out of, I'm out of the thing, the biscuit. Oh, all right, we got the biggest piece for the last piece. Hmm? Oh, I am. You can't be got weed now. Uh huh. Oops. Definitely swallowed a piece of bone there. Oops. I don't think it was like sharp, but maybe I should just. Oh, maybe I should throw it up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it's fine. It's all it it went down. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> I just don't usually do that. <clears throat> mm. Shake Shack? I don't remember if I've tried Shake Shack. Have we had Shake Shack? You have, yeah. And what's also funny, what's funny about the people that not only think that I would be lying about my mental state, because I guess that's just something that they do. But what I'm just realizing also is like, they think that people being dumb on Twitter would be like a precursor to my mental state. So they think that people being assholes on Twitter would like override everything else that's happening in my life as if I don't have a life outside of Twitter. As if like, oh, people are being mean to me on Twitter, therefore my life is bad. Like, no, that's like, it, my life is separate from Twitter. <laughs> like, and again, accusations are confessions in the sense that you listen to what these people say about you and it's like, oh, damn, like you what you realize is like, OK, like if they were being bullied on Twitter, that would literally be their whole life because I guess their life is Twitter. And so that's why they think that it is for me, you know. It's it's interesting to get that perspective of other people and it makes you feel less bad that they're being shitty to you because you realize that their lives are actually very sad. Somehow, yeah. It seemed desperately, I guess. Maybe we should actually title this video, Adam responds to Twitter, Twitter criticism while eating chicken so that they click on it and get mad. The old Nikocado strategy. Yeah, why not? Thank you so much for surprising me with food. That was awesome. No problem. Yeah, thank you. That was exactly what I wanted and exactly what I needed. So thank you for reading my mind. Thank you. <clears throat> Minimal collateral damage on the floor here. I was eating with a plate underneath, but I think one bit of hot sauce. Got to wash my hands. I got grease. That was awesome. Thank you. Um. It was nice to have my expectations of Popeye's changed 
because the previous time, the only other time I had it, it was not good. Um, and this is very different. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands and wash my mouth. Because unlike some people on Twitter, I can actually wash off the grease. That was a 7 out of 10. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, very satisfying. Lovely surprise meal for my boyfriend. Thank you. <laughs> 